There we have it, folks. We are in uh, the science lab where I keep most of uh, the electronics. I do all of my different projects, different circuitry, diodes, my mini Tesla coil, like you've seen in my other videos on display now. And there you go, folks, the power supply that runs the whole system. The, the ones uh, mostly people are asking about in some comments. It's two MOTs, as you can see, microwave transformers in oil. As you can see, it's in parallel series, which makes uh, 4,000 volts, 2,000, a little over 2,000 volts at each end which goes down to, we call this uh, the protector. It's uh, a rectifier that protects the uh, back feeds, uh, uh, any back feeds from uh, any voltage spikes. And the ballast, I know they're not proper ballasts. Usually a proper ballast, you ground it out the high voltage end. So yeah, I'm gonna be fixing that eventually. And here's the high voltage capacitors, just the uh, smoothing capacitors before they actually go down to the actual uh, nanofarad capacitors. They're in nanofarads, um, running this roughly around 43 nanofarads. And goes to the primary to the secondary winding, they're coupled together. And the magnetic field it resonates between the two and magnifies the voltage from 4,000 volts uh, a little over. Uh, and I can play around with it from a million to three million volts. I can get the lengths shooting about three, three and a half feet, depending how I play with uh, the frequencies on the ballast system. As you can see, there's an inline switch on it, so I can throw it off and on while I'm running it to ballast or to full power of the mods, just completely running the mods directly full pin. Uh, I can change that and vary it with uh, playing around with the variable uh, spark gap uh, system. Uh, that's with the variable controller over here. It's just a dimmer switch that's hooked up to a transformer that varies the voltage and then it goes to a bridge rectifier and then to a capacitor, smoothing capacitor. Then it turns over this, I uh, made up a DC motor. It was a really an AC um, grinder and I changed it over to DC. And then, then, then it switches over to over here, which fires uh, the load, the circuit here to fire off the capacitor into the primary tank circuit. And there you go, folks. And I'll show it to you uh, running a little bit. Put the lights off, because everybody likes to see it in the dark. Turn some lights off, and we'll get it running. There you go, folks. That's a Tesla coil. I don't like to run it too long in the basement, 
Should be running this outside because the ozone is crazy downstairs. And as you know, ozone is dangerous. So I don't like running it too long in a confined area, two, three million volt system, jumping three, you know, three and a half feet with all those crazy sparks. It's uh, not good to breathe in too long. And that's the safety points to running these things. You gotta take precautions and you gotta be safe and take uh, play safe with these things. There you go, folks. There's the end of... Uh